We have been recently introduced to the skill system and the new other minor additions such as um, throwing knives and other things. But uh, for this video we will only discuss uh, the skill system and we will see step by step which ones to pick up on and which ones to leave apart. Okay, so as when you would just launch your game after the update you get in your storage you get um, multiple skill points according to your level. Because every level you earn skill points and when you click on your bag the skill points this new icon here like the lamp icon has been added here so you just click on that and then you will see four different trees and for me I unlocked them because I'm level 121 and then I had like a lot of points for whatever reason other than 121 did I have have I done something to add points I do not know but if you start from like level 1, you would know how to earn all the points, but we're not going to go through that. So, one thing we will need to know is, these points that count on the left side by the lamp here, I have 110, but I've already used 185. Because every time you progress, like to open up this, this skill, which is the good health, that increases maximum health of 150. You need one point, and then you need to add 4 extra points to make them 4, 5. And then you can unlock this tree and then you need five more points and then 10 more points and then 50 more points so you don't have to actually spend for example 35 points from 20 to 35 it's like it's not like an additional 35 points it's just accumulating basically so from 1 to 185 185 unlocks the main skill trees so these this tree that we have here is actually the basic one it's a basic tree so and Every point, like there's a checkpoint every few levels that you can open up. You click on it and then you can get the rewards. Like the chest, this one I claimed, so I do not need, I do not see what is inside it. And um, this box is, I have also received, so I'm not going to uh, see what's inside it as well. Like let's see a different one, for example. This one is available. So this is what I get when I once I reach this tree. Okay, you need to use your points wisely because the points are actually very hard to come by, but also you will need to complete quests sometimes in order to uh, upgrade one single skill. For example, you know, let's say we want to upgrade the expert knife. Sometimes you click learn, 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 and then you may end up, you know, you may encounter a quest that you may have to collect five wolves and 10 deers for example or 150 uh, ghouls in the warehouse or you know 300 i think it's progressive so the the farther you want to go with the skill set the harder it's going to get uh quest wise and it's going to take time so take your time with it because if you're going to try and rush 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 um this is going to make you grind and probably get bored and burnt out so don't do that so yeah, like I said, we have one basic tree, and then we have three three main ones. One is the combat, one is the survival, and the other one is the resources or the development, basically. And we will go through each tree. We don't have to claim all the points, but I will I will see what, in my opinion, would be very beneficial for you as a player. And starting from the basic one, the max X, this one, the maximum one. Is very necessary when you are a low level and you have to get it anyway because you need to unlock other trades so just get it and it's only one point so so the water drinker how to make the most of a single goal this one is like you can use less water to drink this really is not necessary unless you have like points that you want to splurge and you want to waste on them you can don't forget like if you are if you want to support the developers you can always buy skill points but remember eventually you will fill everything because the points that you will get you will get them from quests and you will get them from um, what is it you will get them from the uh, facilities sorry I forgot about that so you see what you will get from the facilities you'll get skill points or you'll get these neuroplasmids and each plasmid, like red is responsible for one, the blue is responsible for another tree, and the green one is responsible. So these three will only apply to the three main skills, the resources, the survival, and then the combat. 
the basic one I think you would earn it by by uh, what is it by skills maybe or by uh, by paying money maybe I don't know uh, or I don't know they, they will have to do something about it or maybe it's something I'm actually missing uh, because you see like the yellow one the yellow one is for the basic like when it says here quest complete so I think you get the basic ones from completing quests like normal quests where you get like chests and stuff so probably instead there are some quests that grant you um, basic skill points and these main ones you will get from the um, from the specimen okay and then the system has changed now so these keys will only drop when you find them from the trader so you must have a bike if you want to go to the facilities you need to have a bike you go get on your bike and then um, you can probably get it by chance or you pro it's probably listed by the bicycle because I actually just opened up the game so I've, I'm not entirely sure how this is going to work but this is most likely how it is because it's very easy to kind of get to it really but uh, let's get back to our main subject here and discuss the skill set that I think would be good for you to take on so this is increasing the health take that it's only one point uh, these don't don't invest in them unless you really want to like this one is satisfying your hunger a lot easier there will be plenty of food but you can invest in them if you are a really early level player uh, you can invest in them but like I said it really is not necessary so then you receive this item and then we move forward with this one the knife pro it's we, we're going to increase this not because we are going to use a lot of knives we're gonna use a lot of machetes in the future so I have already maxed this and I got 20% use that so and then talking about these things these are actually very important at a low level but if you're already 121 do not get them or if you're like 60 do not get them why you want to invest in these probably like for example the logs are really important so you can get them uh, the mushroom would be the best option for you because don't invest in this in the seeds because the seeds are gonna take a bit over an hour like I think the seeds will take I think tomatoes will take like 45 minutes to grow or an hour and it's like no I don't want to wait an hour to just get one tomato right so instead of this you can invest in the keen eye on the uh, the keen eye you can find them as um, you can find like four extra mushrooms so four extra mushrooms will correlate you know would, would actually improve your chances of increasing your energy because you want to invest food on low levels you need energy you need a lot of energy so the energy would help you so much with that so get the mushrooms because there is also a, the survival tree I think I think the survival tree is it survival? the resources tree you would it would correlate with this one it would correlate with this one so you can get more meat and then you make a lot of meat and uh, meat and mushroom meat and mushrooms so you can get the experience fa as fast as possible and that would actually help you get health as well so if it was up to me I would do that the trees you don't really need as much trees right now because you need to focus your points somewhere else you want to focus them probably on combat but if you if you like have extra points why not do that so probably the most important out of these all the resources would be the mushrooms in this tree the mushrooms the metal and then the uh, logs because these you're not really going to use at all this is like the stems you're only gonna use for like first 10 levels and that's it and then you must max these you must max the uh, knife faster and then you must max the amateur spearman I think for order in order for you to unlock these basic trees and then you receive a reward at this one concrete do not touch the concrete because concrete is really like plenty there's plenty in the iron wasteland just go to the iron wasteland and you end up with like over a hundred unless you really want to fill that uh, inventory of yours with concrete then you can just get that okay so you have a 30% chance to get extra blocks you don't you don't really want to do it I don't think so but um, but I think this is for a future because this one is already maxed because when you unlock this tree it says max here so this one says max to can meet restores health in the field increases health okay so increasing your okay so each one that is max I'm sorry I just noticed each max one 
actually is already leveled up for you. But the other ones have levels. The other ones have levels. Okay. And then once you unlock these, each time you unlock these, so you unlock the resource skill, and then now we move to the combat. Probably the combat is like the most important skill for for anyone. Um, let's see. So, what we do not touch, do not touch the small crushing pro unless it is required in future. Like in case you need to unlock something, you know, then touch it. Otherwise, no, don't please, because you're gonna waste points. Um, so this is increasing your spear damage. Depends on how. It is required in the future, otherwise do not do not get the spear one. Unless you really are going to use like spears or acid spears or some weapons. If, if they categorize the weapons, then we know what it is. Because usually some legendary weapons could be... They are not spears, but they look like a spear, you know, because you, you're in a close combat. So they need to actually do something about this and categorize the weapons, so we know. Never invest in this unless it is required from you. Okay? Um... So you see, we need the woodcutter, I think, from the basic skill in order for us to unlock this one. So it increases your dealt, uh, your damage dealt by cutting weapons. Don't invest in this, because why would you want to use these weapons to kill enemies? You just want to use it to cut trees and get tires and stuff. Unless someone experimented on it. Please comment in the video if you experimented on tires and it doesn't reduce the durability. Like, for example, you hit, you have one swing on... Uh, the tire and get it then great then everyone would probably invest in it so there are many factors going into this always invest in the throwing pro because you have the gas station you have the warehouse you have the facilities and also you have um, let alone that one is very like the mysterious basement is very you know irrelevant but it would also help always invest in the throwing weapons because they would you know increase the throwing weapon damage to a single target I didn't know that there will be maybe shuriken would, shurikens would probably jump to different targets but okay so this one is to a single target on the third stage you invest 15 points and then i can receive this so these could slashes the enemy and leaves them to bleed out so this has a bleeding effect obviously and we can receive the item so when we're talking about crushing weapons here crushing weapons that crushing weapon was here actually it was that hammer it was um where is my inventory so this is one of the crushing weapons that we received where is it i think it's this one okay so this is a crushing weapon yeah so this is the type crushing heavy this one is a bow crossbow this one is a crushing weapon too yes so you don't want to use on crushing weapons and this one this weapon who uses that anymore unless you really are running out of range weapons so back to the tree we're still in the combat i am pretty confident like knife expert these are points that you need to level up for you to get like you have to level them up in order to progress in different quests so let's learn these. Increase damage damage and machete. No, I don't want to do that right now. This one is spear damage. So these these will be situational. You will probably have to level them up at some point. Like this one, I need to go to a throwing pro. So I'll get this. Level, level. Let's see if they they didn't ask us. Yeah, so I am on maximum, 10%. They didn't ask us for a quest. So let's see. Some of them would ask for a quest. So let's see. Increases by machete. There are legendary machetes, so you see. So now I have to kill wolves with a knife or a machete. Please read it properly because at the bottom it says kill with a knife, and then um, knives are four pros. Increase knife and okay, so you cannot use machete for this. Apparently, you have to use a knife. So my best bet is always go to the quiet grove because the iron wasteland does not have. Wolves. It, that, not that I saw any. And it does not have moose. Or meese? Is that the plural of moose? I don't know. But killing, mo killing moose or wolves with a knife. So you'll have to kill them with a knife. And they have like 340 to 360 HP or something like that. Should be easy. Sometimes, some of them would have 420. So just sneak and kill them. Sneak and kill them. 
and uh, considering that you're increasing the knife damage then that is fine as well so you see this one is telling you to go kill them moving forward this is how it's going to unfold you unlock this you finish the quest and then you have to move on forward and then you have to finish another quest i am expecting them to asking us for another quest here let's see kill something with a knife or something okay so okay so you need to kill Undertakers and the Chaos with throwing weapons in the yellow zones. Remember? Yellow zones. So what I would do, I would take any you know any weapon with me that I can damage them, and then at the last hit I just swap my weapon, throw the dart at them, or you know, the throwing weapon, and then that will max it. And we will see what else. So we'll come back here. It's more spear damage. Knife and machete damage, this is the one that we are into. This will be is ex this one is extremely important. Very important. Um You go back and then I have to finish this quest to unlock this one. So this is gonna take time guys. This is gonna take time. And you gotta be patient. Like high level players, 121, they have plenty of food, plenty of energy. But if you are a low level, please focus on the basic tree first. Because you have a free reset, like when you click here, you can reset for free. But once you reset, you will have to pay money to reset again. So please be very wise on how you're going to, you know, use your skill points. Be very wise and study the tree. You don't have to follow my tree. You can always follow yours. And yeah, so I will, I will get this skill. I will get this one as well. And no crushing weapons. I'll get this one. I will ignore the cutting expert. Because the cutting expert, if it really is increasing the damage, this could be a raiding. This one will be for B PvP. So you can like cut somebody's walls, you know, you could just chop through their walls or something, and then your dur durability would stay. But they would have stated that, so I think this is just damage. Um Crossbow, very important in the future. Take that. Crushing weapons, and the hammer, no way. So what do we receive from these? We receive the tribal chicken bow. Okay. So these are this is actually pretty good. This is pretty good. I don't want to claim it right now because I don't want to have space issues. Even though it goes to my inventory on top. Pistol. This one is a must. Must, you know. So, maybe Gunslinger increases your pistol damage. You will have to get this. Max it as, as much as you can, or as soon as possible. So, from this, from here on out, you will you will need to, to do quests and quests and quests. A grenade damage across area, throwing expert, the large... Okay, so this is, a, this is a must as well. So, this one I need to increase, so when I click it, shows me that I need to finish this quest click 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 so they return you this is really good system I love this system it's very very good and then it's increasing like here you would increase the pistol pro 10% here would be 10% that's 20% when you increase with this one that's 30% and then yeah it's it's only 30% but 30% is a lot of damage including uh, the buff from potions or from food or from equipments that you're wearing uh, that, that's fantastic. Shotgun Pro. This actually would only be beneficial if you're using that perfect shotgun. What was the name of that perfect shotgun? I don't know. I probably have it with me. Let me check. Yeah, if you're using this one. So this type is shotgun, right? Yeah, so SPAS-12 is the one. If you're using this one, then yes, it's effective. But if you do not have enough points, don't don't level it up. Unless it's a pre requirement for you to increase. After the pistol, once you're done with the pistol, what I would focus on, I would focus on rifle pro. So it increases your rifle damage. Focus on the rifle damage. Certainly focus on the rifle damage. So, so this is the shotgun that they were talking about. And um, would focus again. I would leave, I would leave the uh, shotgun aside improve this and like what is it the rifle master and improve the grenade master or the renowned bombardier 
and the end of the tree is the one that is fantastic. This one is all for all the snipers and stuff, sniper rifles, all sniper rifles, and then you have the AK thing as well, you know, AK, M16, kind of like medium arms, they're not like heavy arms or anything, and this one requires the most of them. And, you know, uh, since I'm level 121, I have a lot of points to spare, so I can do that. Hopefully they can allow you to earn a lot more points in the future, um, but we don't know. So the second tree, I still have full-on points that I have not invested, and these are 4,000 I can invest. So you see, I spoke earlier on, I need, so I need 10 more points to get from 5 to 15. See, that's 10, and then I need 20 points, so I need to click twice. 1, 2, and that's got to 35. So now we can read. So this is, what is it? Travel system. Increase the walking speed on global map. Don't choose this unless you really, really are short on energy. Otherwise, there's no need to use it. So as an experienced traveler, you have your ways of saving your water supply. Slows down thirst. This could go, come in really handy. But it's a waste of points unless unless there's nothing to use in the future. So let's unlock the entire tree first. So we get colors because colors are nice. And I like blue. Uh, let's see. 4,000. Okay, 500. Okay. So to invest in the entire tree, to unlock the entire tree, you need 1,215 points. So this one is grants you the chance to save energy while switching to stealth mode. This will be incredible for players, especially in like the besieged house, uh, uh, the warehouse, well, in any map really, any map, any map that is an event. You would have a great time if you're not consuming energy because losing two energy every time is painful, especially in the warehouse, because there are a lot of enemies to kill. Uh, ambush event would be really nice if you could just duck without losing. So let's see what the rewards here. Oh, you get like a free backpack here. And then you can get, okay, toxins and 500 gold. Not bad, not bad. These rewards are, are good. I, I have never understood these potions. Like, why does it last only 90 seconds? It's a joke. Make it last for five minutes and then people would actually forget about it. Um, And then these are, okay. So I would, if it's not required, I would ignore these. So shining on a single can of condensed milk, you don't need as much food. Okay, so this this would help you actually, but this one also has prerequisites. So you need to finish the light eater first, I think from the basic one, this one. You need to level up these first, and then you will be able to um, to level the other one. Sorry, where is it? Yeah, here. So they're all prerequisites, so you have a lot of time. So my advice, <laughs> only unlock a certain stage. Once you know that you have enough points for this certain stage, like you have 100 points, I would unlock 35. I would unlock 35, and I would invest the rest in here until I can um, unlock the rest and I have enough points. Because you opening the entire tree, spending 1,215 points, is going to be, to be detrimental for your progress because you can, yeah, you unlocked everything, but you don't have enough points to level up these skills. So that's what my point is out of this. And let's see what this one is. Long distance walk are no big deal, increases walking speed. You don't really, really need this one. We spoke about this. This one, your body is temple. This one you will need, but you need to finish first. You need to finish all these. You need to max this and that. So a camel, okay. Maybe we can try and increase maximum health to see how much it's gonna help us. So I wanna level up this, okay. So food efficiency is increased by 50%. Drink efficiency is increased by, so I just spent 20 points on these. And then let's see, now I can unlock these, but if we need a quest, I'm not going to do it. But most likely we won't need actually. Oh, 
Okay. So I have a lot of points for these. Will they be enough for the entire tree? I don't know. Reduces damage from critical... Th this is so useless. Because one bottle of water would not... Like, because this one is the Desert Dweller. Like, once your HP is reducing, it reduces by like 10 or 15 or something like that. Depends on what your HP is. And then it gets reduced. Oh, okay. So this is increasing your HP by 300. It's not bad. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take this one. So efficiency of washed bandages. Mm, washed bandages. Okay. Nobody uses washed bandages unless they mean really high class bandages. Let's see in the future. Yeah. These you don't need, but you will have to unlock at some point. These paramedic, you would have to unlock because I think at the end of it, you have this one. This is what you would need to unlock. Because it will increase. This is the best, you know. Um, this, okay, this is a very useful skill. Because you're going to get a lot of these healing items. And you don't have to use always the military, uh, you know, healing item. Which I forgot what it was. You, like, you don't have to use, where is it? Where did I put my healing items? What was it called? I'm such a noob already. Hang on. Yeah, the, not the, not this one, the green one. Where, where is it? Do I have it? Do I have it even? Yes, the Phoenix Stimulator. That's it. Phoenix Stimulator. You would not need, need to use the Phoenix Stimulator. This one would... Uh, I think we would use it and then it would get 25% of your HP plus 400. Yeah, so you don't need to use that anymore or save it for really difficult bosses. And I think this is a great addition in that regard. So you will, you mac, you will, of course, you will have to max this and then you have to max this. So just back here so we don't miss any of the skills. So potions, you can start increase potion effect duration. This is important. This is definitely important for you to learn. Um, if you if you use potions, some people do not use potions. I do not use potions, but right now I could use potions. Save energy while switching to st in stealth mode. So the stayer, unfortunately, you will have to max this one. Got it. You have to max this one in order to save energy while switching in stealth mode. So we can max this. Why not? And let's see if we actually end up with more points at the end. So this one is maxed already. 15%. This one is maxed. And then drinking potion. Increase. 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 Okay. So we have an increase of 15%. And then an increase of 50%. This is going to make you guys not invincible. But this makes it worth it. But the duration is not worth it. Um, oh, so this one lasts longer. Okay, it's not the effect. It doesn't increase the damage. It lasts, okay, it increases the duration. Okay, that's good. That's good. So we will, at the end, hopefully, we can try a potion to try. And then increases the potion effect. Okay, nice. So this one, health restoration from food. No. Unless you are really low level, or you have your level 121, you have so much food you want to get rid of, level this one. Unless it's a pre-requirement for some other stuff. So these are the potions. We'll get them. And we move forward to this one. So you need a flax gatherer and paramedic. This one, you would level it. You would have to level this one. Let's see if we can level it. So this one is in the survival tree. So we'll get back to this, okay? Uh, we'll get back to this shortly. Uh, we'll just discuss the rest of this tree. So this one, radiation, you get anything, eventually radiation has lower effects on you. Okay. Let's see if we can learn this. Okay, it's maximum. So, I want to see how much it's going to affect. So 20% maximum, apparently. Okay, 20%. Skin of fled. So, less 20% less radiation, okay. And then this is another 20% plus radiation. Oh, this is... But this is actually quite useless. 
please pay attention to this because this one is like your radiation level or radiation damage would be uh, less if you are if it's critical so you don't like your HP does not reduce as fast as it's supposed to be but HP doesn't reduce very fast it's just the screen turns red and you get reduction by a minimum amount and but if it's gonna be useful because also like the so now that makes it okay so that makes it 50% less radiation or is it 30% for the damage it's a bit confusing so this one is a must obviously oops so I have a I have kill enemies in stealth mode easy this one is easy it's only 30 it's not like 500 and then I got a backpack and I got a dressing so these Wound dressing would, would be very effective when you max everything else, like these. When you max this, you'll be fine. So this one, searching is what you, grants you chance to save energy while searching boxes. Okay, this is a, an extremely important skill. Sharp eye is extremely important, so please focus on that. So you need professional assassin, I cannot finish it at like people in stealth mode. But because you loot a lot in the maps, you loot a lot of cars, a lot of boxes, a lot of things, you will save a lot of energy with this one. This one is probably, to date, like out of the entire tree, this is probably the most important. Apart from the weapon damage, this is how you get weapons. It's like, you use energy to get weapons, searching for things. You know, you get bicycle sprockets, you get uh, bolts, you get everything else. This is fantastic. You must get it. So it grants you the chance to save energy while searching boxes, wardrobes, barrels, and other objects. So tents, bonfires, incredible. This would be very, very good. Um, what else do we have? So this one is also for the stealth mode. Yes, we can do that. And then this one is also increasing the potion effect. I will definitely get this one. So increase duration okay we'll see hopefully it's increased by a while right now so complete prepare any 20 potions like if i claim old potions can i do that maybe let me see if there's this bug that works and i need 20 i need 20 where are they i have potions i know i have potions okay Prepare any 20 potions. So where is my home? Let's see my shelter. <coughs> Excuse me. Because if this works, you don't need to prepare 20 potions. Lab. Oh no, they they have to, okay. So it looks like this one is fixed because on the oh sorry, what is I thought this was the lab table. What am I doing? Um, let me see. Construction equipment. This one is loom. Where is my lab table? Oh, it's up. It's in the basement, I think. Sorry, it's been a long time since I used this. Is this the lab table? No. Uh, I want the health table. Where's the health table? What am I doing? I don't know where I put that that table, actually. I did it. Did I put it down here? No, apparently not. Here. Yeah, they won't let you. So, once you produce it, they won't let you. So you can prepare any potion. Which one is easier for you? You can just do it, really. Neutralize spray. Restore certain... Okay. So just create some of these. These are the easiest. Like, you can just throw create mushroom bitter maybe no not mushroom bitter no 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 because alcohol is really expensive to make try to craft something with no alcohol try to craft this easiest one this one is the easiest 
the rose hip and the mushroom just create 10 of 10 of each or something like that but whichever material that you have is it uh, rose hip or mushrooms this is the easiest one to do and unfortunately there's that bug is fixed you cannot place them anymore because you could use you used to place them and then take them back in your inventory and then boom you have the quest completed so sorry about that you can't do it So I'm just leaving the map so I can finish what we started. Okay. So received, received, received. And then so we have this one, like I said, this is extremely important. And then the finish of that skill. Okay, so it's just this skill. And then this one, you will have to turn it up again. This one is very important. And these are very, very important. These are very important to, you know, to increase the potion effect. That makes the potions, the portion, potion making, it's worth it now. And this one, you need vigorous health. You need to definitely do this. So heavy crushing experts. This means you are going to waste a lot more points on this. Because you, the crushing expert, you're going to have to go to the regular crushing expert and then the basic one. So you're going to spend a lot of time. But eventually you, you'll get it. But focus on these. Potion Pro. So I need Potion Pro. I need the Potion one more so, And then I need to finish the quest. And then I can unlock these. Please do these. And avoid the rest. But if you have a different opinion on that. Please get it. And the master, the Guru Assassin. Always, always level up this skill. Always. Uh, so hopefully you don't have to use a lot of energy anymore. And the third one is the resources. Resources, let's see. So every piece of cloth is valued in the territory. Increase your chance of finding extra rags on dead bodies. This is pretty good. As a basic player, yes, this is very good. But once you start going to the warehouse and other like events, it wouldn't be so important. However, you can. You can. Um, meat, as a low level, always get this. But it's going to take you some time to unlock these. But always get this. Meat and mushrooms are basic food. But then you make meat and potatoes at the end. Meat and potatoes are extremely valuable. They increase 5 each. You know, just like canned food, they increase 5 energy each. And then it decreases your chances of finding like... What is it? So 2... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume it's 2, 4, 6. But let's see. So I'm going to unlock this tree first. Like I always do. Wow, these are a lot of points for resources. A lot of points. These are a lot of points. So 1,965 1, points to unlock this tree. We're talking a lot of points consumed in the resource. So this is like an expensive tree. I am unlocking them because I can still I still have my free one, but I don't want to use it. Uh, I'm taking my time with the game, to be honest. I'm not, you know, uh, desperately trying to finish things. Uh, so meat, meat you get. So chance to find animal meat. Okay, so you you find two, you can find two maximum. That's thirty percent chance. If you are really low on HP as a beginning player, maybe, if you want a lot of, uh, what is it? If you want a lot of rags, maybe, if you want to make a lot of washed bandages, you're going to need a lot of water. So you can just use these rags. This is the chance to make, to find more, I suppose. Okay, so I'm going to level this up. And these, you will need wood cutting for sure. Wood cutting is very important. So, so up to seven. So up to seven. Does that mean you, you might find extra seven wood in one dig? That would be insane. So let's see. I'm gonna have to learn this in order to activate that one. And then I'm gonna assume that I have. Okay, so these are max. We don't need them. 
Okay, so let's see. 10%. So, okay, so you find 7 extra? Extra 7. Well, up to 7. You could find 1 extra or 2 extra or 7 extra. That's good. That's good. Um, if you are building your base, always level up these things first. If you want to level, or maybe late game, you want to level up your base, level this up and level this up. The concrete, you can find, find extra, because you're going to need a lot of concrete, you're going to need a lot of metal, and you're going to need a lot of wood to fortify your base and improve it. So this one is a very useless skill, to be honest, because you can always, always make empty flasks, and you have four... Like late game, you'll have four, or even mid game, you have four resources. You have two wells and uh, what is it? Like four stuff that, four items that create water. I think you have two wells and what is the other the name of the other one? I feel super noobish right now. Yeah, you have two wells and you have uh, tarps. I think two tarps that like rain catchers. Where are the rain catchers? Water collector. So you can have maximum of two of these, and then two of these, and that's it. I mean, you wouldn't need anything else, really. And, yeah, this is a waste of points, unless you have the excess points and the luxury, then yeah, go for it. Uh, this would be very, very good, actually, because these, you can turn them into leather, and then these go into crafting a lot of material, a lot of things. So you can find an extra hide, dead animal hide, why not, 20%. I'll get it. I'll take it for sure. Because they will become relevant, you know. They these like you're you're earning 50% extra. If you get one hide, you're getting dead animal, you, you know, you get skin out of them. And yeah, I'll I'll take that any day. So this would increase up to 3. Is it up to 3? This one is up to 1. So this one up to 3 of these. And I think this one is open. Okay, so search dead bodies in yellow zones. So you have to go to yellow zones to unlock the rest of it. But since it's active, you have up to three, you can make it a lot easier. So it depends on your chances and your luck. Metal is extremely valuable. Extremely valuable. Why? Because you need to keep it running. It's important to fortify your base. But most importantly, you will need it to upgrade your storage boxes. Storage boxes are like the best thing in the game, to be honest. Because I want to show you why. I know I shouldn't be actually going into base and going out of base and stuff. But I'll show you why. Hopefully the game doesn't freeze on me. Because this happens sometimes. Okay. For those who do not know. Like you have, for example, these middle boxes. And then you want to upgrade them. You will need 17 of the iron sheets. Iron sheets, you need 17 out of these. And then to make nails, like you can see, I have a handful of everything except these. Like nails, you'll need metal to create them. You'll make the cra the uh, the iron, you'll make it into metal bars, and then the metal bars will be converted into nails. The iron sheets, you'll have to convert them in like multiple levels. Oh, sorry, uh, I put full screen again. Let's go to this uh, here, the anvil. So I have nine here. So the pro produces, you will need, for the iron sheet itself, you will need to make a rebar. Then from the rebar, you need to make it an iron ingot. And then from the iron ingot, you need an iron sheet. So if you calculate the time, you need 34 minutes nonstop. Nonstop. You need 34 minutes um, for you to be able to create these. And then you will add more to it when you upgrade the anvil, because the pipe, the pipe would actually go into creating. You need one hour to create an iron pipe, okay? And remember, like this one, you need ten minutes to create an iron ingot. Here, you are going to use two iron ingots to create one sheet. So we're talking thirty-four minutes, forty-four minutes. But then you make them forty-eight minutes. Why 48 minutes? Because you need two rebars to create four, one iron ingot. So you're talking 48 minutes to create all of these. Okay? And to create an iron pipe, you need almost two hours. So please use this wisely as a time. So always farm the metal. It's very important you farm the metal. And as well as the wood. Because once you farm wood, you're going to need the fuel for this anvil to run. 
So always make create the wood and always produce the quality planks always uh, and use them as fuel because they only take four minutes. You can don't use polished planks. Polished planks are you know they take thirty minutes to make. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this uh, metal slash wood and why it is actually very very important. I'm actually going out of my base so I don't lose always HP and stuff. So, um, metal, yes, metal, we go for the metal. One, two, and then you need to find 120 scraps in the green zones. Easy. These will be really, really important as well. These are quite good. So I need to finish this quest first, and then I can activate this. So you, if you get two rubbers, this is actually very, very good, because you need hoses for the bike, you need the, for crafting, you need for quests, you need for many other things. And I will use these, yes, definitely. So increasing the meat. At this point, I don't know. At this point, I wouldn't need to because there, this will be late game. All of this stuff would be late game. You would find up to five meats from one dead animal. I will definitely take that. Definitely. Wood, I'll take this. So you find up to 12 from one tree. Incredible. And these you need to go to the expert geologist. So... This, do these when you want to build up your base. There is no PvP now, take your time, use your points, allocate them in different places, and then once you, you know, run out of points, you can farm more points and then, you know, invest in this. Right now, really not important. Uh, this one is, it saves your energy always. Anything with energy saving, I will take. And, oh, it's like, I need 300 raw planks. Okay, and then this one is the hides. I'll take the hides. I need 25 wolves in the yellow zone. Okay, blah, blah, blah. And then this one, anything related to concrete, I wouldn't touch it right now. Because really concrete is not used for anything other than fortifying your base for now, I think. And then the rest, I will have to, I will have to be an expert on these, in these. I'll have to be an expert. Always pick up on flax seed. Always. Always, 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 always get flaxseed. Scrap metal, yes, this one is also necessary. So for this tree, only avoid, really just avoid the uh, concrete for now and the water. The rest of them... Cotton is okay, because you really don't use the cotton as much as the flax right now. Because the flax is the one that helps you make the bandages or the wound dressing and stuff like that, was it? I don't remember. I don't really remember, but um, I don't want to go into the game and then check. But please check, like, see which one. The flax is needed for also to upgrade your... Yeah, the flax is very needed because you need to upgrade the boxes, make them from large to, like, massive or, like, extra large boxes to upgrade them to level 3 box, so you will need this. And finding flax seed is so good. It's very good. And you will need these to... What is it? Uh, would you need cotton to create? I'm not sure. But please check with this one. Um, this one is amazing. Please maximize this sharp eye. Maximize it as soon as possible. So you can get like whatever. You can get bolts. You can get double amount of uh, nails. You can get double amount of sprockets. Who doesn't want extra sprockets, you know? Uh, what else? These, like, artifacts... Mm, I don't know. I mean, artifacts, few people find it very, very important. But I think eventually you would get so many artifacts that you would use them as a throwing weapon. Because there's so many of them at the end of it. And uh, there's only so much you can trade with the warehouse trader unless they introduce someone else. There's an introduction, like, there's a one-handed trader that is coming in future updates. He only has one hand, and then you do a roulette. So will you use these to as a currency? I do not know. But you will, you know, you will be overwhelmed with these in the future. Rubber, always take the rubber if you can. Uh, there aren't many rubbers around the area, unless in, like, red zones. So probably save this for now. Spend it somewhere else where it's more prominent, 
like you can spend it on artifacts like this is up to you the end of this tree is all up to you right? it's like it's not something essential or not something that is a game breaker for me so you can just use what whichever you want and yeah so so this is pretty much discussing the entire tree and this is a really cool system but one thing I haven't seen is persuasion yet so there's an, also another skill tree that would be added you can't go through the marshes I didn't click through the marshes but yeah so there must be another tree for persuasion skills and other skills unless you find them somewhere or another I do not know uh, that you can improve them uh, but apart from this this is all for now for the video please comment if you need to ask any question and I will check for you and if you have suggestions for other videos please let me know I am still creating well I didn't create that video I was just a bit busy to create the other video for uh, the sprocket farming which is a very easy map very nice very easy you can get a lot of sprockets but I'm sure we will have to save that for another time but I hope that you enjoyed this video and I look forward to talking to you soon and I hope this guide was helpful. And take care for now and enjoy the game.